So now we're going to talk about how you manage the settings for your facilities. Uh, the way that you do that is with this gear icon here in the top right hand corner. You will only see this gear icon if you are an admin user. If you are not an admin user, then you will not see this. So in order to manage your settings, you're going to click on this icon. And then you can see that you have two options. There's the manage organization, which is where it will land. And you can see that it has the name of your organization. And then you have the option to manage facilities. We do not recommend changing your organization name. This is because this is the name that we report to the public health department with. And if this name gets changed um, without alerting us ahead of time, then there is the possibility that your results um, will get reported to the health department, but the health department won't realize that they're actually coming from you at your location. Um, so please do not change this organization name unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, and in that case, please make sure that you reach out to USDS uh, to let us know. So now we're going to manage facilities. Let's say that your organization has actually opened up a new testing site. Um, maybe you're a school that is rolling out testing to um, another, another, um, another school in your district. Um, maybe you're an urgent care um, organization that has um, added a new facility, or perhaps you're just expanding simple report to an existing facility. Whatever the case may be, you are able to manage your facilities here. So in this case, we're actually going to create a new facility. So we're gonna click the new facility button. And when that happens, we'll confirm our current location. But uh, when that happens, you are gonna get taken to a facility page. So you'll be able to enter the name of the new site where you're gonna be doing testing. And we will call this um, Uh, your Tezo Park facility. We'll enter a number, phone number. You will enter the CLIA number for your location. You're able to enter an email if that, um, if you'd like. You can put in the address for your location. So we're located at. Park Drive in Palo Alto. My zip code is okay. So you can put in the information for your new location. We do understand that not all states require an ordering provider in order to perform rapid rapid antigen testing. Uh, so please follow whatever the guidelines are for your state. In this case, we are going to use our medical director as the ordering provider, and that is okay. We'll enter the phone number and the zip code. So on this Manage Facility page, uh, so as you can see, you're able to update the information for your facility. You can add ordering provider information. But this is also where you will manage your devices. Um, so for right now, we have the Abbott ID as your uh, default device. We actually have another one, which is going to be the Lumira. So those are the devices that we have at this location. And once you've finished adding your new facility, you will save changes. And then you can see right here that you get the little green box letting you know that your settings have been updated. So once that information has been saved, you can always come back to all facilities. When you do that, you can see that you get taken back to our original um, facility switcher page. But now instead of having just two facilities, you're now able to see that there are three facilities. So we're gonna click into Tezo Park. Now you can see that you have three facilities listed when you return to the Manage Facilities page instead of just two. So we have Shady Pines, Tezo Park, and Willow Grove. You can also come up here to the switcher and you can see that you also have the option to navigate between these three. Um, so we were at Willow Grove before. And if we come to conduct tests, you can see that we have the ability to navigate in between. Now we're gonna come back to the gear icon for a moment and we're gonna imagine that um, at Tezo Park, you've actually gotten some additional devices. 
If you try to conduct a test on someone at Tezo Park right now, I'll just skip this for a moment. Um, right now, our default devices are the Lumira and the Abbott ID now. But if you come to your settings icon, you're able to add additional devices for your facility. So we're gonna come into Tezo Park and if you scroll down, you'll see the Manage Devices section. So currently we have an Abbott ID now. We have the Lumira, which is set as the default. But let's say that we've also gotten um, a Quidel Sophia. So we're adding a Quidel Sophia to the list and we're actually gonna say that that's our default. So that's gonna be the default device. Um, and it turns out maybe that we've run out of the Lumira and so um, you just click this little red trash can to get rid of a device. If you got rid of the device on accident, that's okay. You can just click add device again and then you can scroll through the list to find the one that you missed. Uh, but for today, we're gonna say um, that we just have, we'll just say we have the I Abbott ID now and the Quidel Sophia. So you'll scroll back to the top, you'll click save changes. You'll notice again, you get the green card that pops up saying that the facility has been updated and then you can proceed. So if we're ready to conduct tests, we would click the conduct test tab. And now Maria, who was in our test queue, only has the Quidel Sophia and the Abbott ID now as her options. And so you're able to select the one which she's being tested on. And that is how you add devices and update facility information.